Welcome back to Team Slice Extra. For all of you that don't already know me, I'm Kat, and today I am joined by Craig Barrett, a carnage goer who is a third year student and has been to every single carnage since starting university. Hello Craig, how are you today? I'm very well, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. Um, so tell me, what is it that you like so much about carnage? Well, it just gives you a chance, like, all your friends come together because it's a good event, like, everyone knows that it's going to be on a certain date, so they've got time to plan, yeah. get a time off work, get a course work in the time. Um, would you say that there's any negatives, in your opinion? Through the media, like, definitely, like, with all the students, they love it, but the press just give it a really hard time. They pick out certain people. Um, and what do you think about Philip Lang urinating on the War Memorial? Well, like, when you're young, you're going to make mistakes on you. It's yeah. just he happened to make a mistake that was well documented, and it's pretty harsh. Like, doing what he did, he should have thought about it, but we all make mistakes when we're drunk. Um, now, you know that police and local authorities are trying to ban carnage. Mm. Um, what do you think their reasons are for this? Do you think they're just trying to, you know, save themselves a bit of work, or do you think there's a genuine reason behind it? I think they have to be seen to be doing work towards, like, combating it. Like, just, again, for the media and the press, just to uh, yeah. show they're actually making an effort, but... I don't think they actually need to do anything else. Well, um, you know, it's been said that carnage is particularly bad in encouraging people to apparently drink more and get a bit more out of control. Um, yeah. Would you agree with this, or do you think, again, it's just speculation, something that's been b blown out of proportion? I think it does encourage binge drinking, just because, like, you feel like, I don't know, if I've got a carnage coming up, then I sort of, I won't go out the week before. And then when, when Carnage is there, I just think, yeah, I'll just go mad that night. But you know what your limits are, so. Yeah. Plus when you, so. End, you end up in a, a liquid the last venue, everything's too expensive to get a drink anyway, so. Would you not say that it's a little bit of a rip-off? Because you know, you pay like 10 pound for the shirt, but mm. the places that you're going to are all free to get into anyway on a weeknight normally. Yeah, but you pay for the banter having a t-shirt and like, True. all your mates are going like, I'm happy to pay 10 pounds because you have to keep the t-shirt after anyway. Well, thanks for joining us. That's right. Thank you very much. So thank you for joining us again today, Craig, and we hope that carnage isn't banned too quickly so that you can carry on enjoying it as much as you clearly do. So that's all from us now, and it's back to Wally and Adam.